Hello everybody, Shreen's Play here and today we'll be reviewing Snapshot 15W35B baby. Now this snapshot actually came out Monday instead of Wednesday, that's why I'm kind of late to getting it because I checked the Mojang website this morning, uh, but now it's Tuesday evening, so I'm sorry it's been a bit late, but what can you do, <laughs> uh, you know? So, today we have new zombie villagers, they're not as boring as they were before, now they have new textures, they have costumes, and they have different facial expressions, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool. Uh, so the clothes they were obviously correspond with the villager itself, uh, so each villager has their own zombie now, basically. So we can find them up like this, and you can see that they correspond and then just run away. I actually did have a command that would enable me to take away the AIs of the mobs, but it didn't work for some reason, so I'm going to have to research that and do that again. But um, this is basically it, yeah, it's just really cool, they've upgraded all the textures on their faces and stuff. It's actually pretty cool, and also there is a new combat mechanic, another one. Uh, so if you charge your sword up, you can see from my crosshair, uh, you can actually crit them and you'll see that animation go across the string. Uh, and I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like, you know when you, well, when you, on the film with like the samurai sword and stuff, it's kind of like a slice, but it's also like a wind. So if you hit one entity or mob, these two actually move. So if you move it, let me try and get this done properly. I mean, let me spawn two more in a closed area, it might work. Um, so if I do this, you'll be able to see that if I hit one mob, but the other mob would move as well, which is pretty cool. So if you're in a cave and you want to move some mobs out of the way, you just do that. So here we go. Let's try this one like this. And you have to actually move. It moves both of them at the same time, which is pretty cool. So if you're in like a narrow cave and you want to go through it, you just crit and it will eventually move the mobs out of the way for you, which is actually pretty cool. They've actually um, tweaked the mechanics of the um, tools as well, so they all do... Uh, different attack damage now so you can see from the spades in it's different for each uh, type of weapon as well from, from wood up to diamond obviously so if you do the uh, wooden spade it's 2.5 the stone is 3.5 irons 4.5 and it goes up to diamond which is 5.5 that's for every single tool there is in the game same for swords so from wood upwards uh, 1.45 uh, again, attack speed and it goes up for the attack damage as well. So four attack damage, and five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, uh, up to seven. And gold is four. So you can see as well. Um, they're actually really working on this because I think it was a little bit OP when I released it the first time in the first couple snapshots. So they tweaked that a little bit now, which is pretty cool. Um, basically that's all I can see. Ah, actually, before I go, before I forget, I should say. I've actually changed the command button a little bit, um, the colour's a little bit more defined, you can see around the edges now, you can see the patches are actually more defined, they actually animate in the iron frame now, which is pretty cool. Um, the arrow is actually facing this way, um, depending on which way you actually place the command block, so you can see, you can face it that way, you can face it towards you, uh, away from you I think as well, yeah, you can face it up or down, depending on which way you want the command block to face. So. It's actually pretty cool. Again, I'm liking everything they're doing with these command blocks and the 1.9 features. So I'm actually very happy. So I hope you've enjoyed this command uh, command block, <laughs> this snapshot video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to show your um, support by leaving a like. Also, follow me on Twitter for retweets and stuff like that. Whenever Mojo puts a snapshot out, I'll be retweeting it and tweeting it. Uh, so. Thank you for watching and peace out.